everyone, it's Lisa Joy Young. So today I'm gonna to be showing you my face painting kit. I've gotten a lot of requests for this. Um, I am not saying that this is the best way to organize your paints for a party, um, but this works for me. And um, you guys have been asking a lot, so I thought I would do it for you. So this is actually a scrapbooking case. And I like it because it's waterproof, so you can wipe spills off easily. And it also has a handle that comes up so you can just roll it around wherever you want to go. So, and it has lots of pockets for organization, but as you can see, I actually took them all out. Um, there was dividers and pockets and I just ripped them all out. I used to put stuff all in them, but um, this just is easier for me. Okay, so up here in this top pocket, I keep, um, I keep my glitter. I also keep a bag of extra glitter. I keep an extra black and white. And then if I'm running low on any other paints, I'll keep a spare of any colors I'm running low of in there as well because it's easy access. And then I put my paints right on top. So I have two cases. These sorely need to be replaced, but I haven't done that yet. So I just keep those right on top. Um, and then I just have everything else kind of thrown in there. I have my brushes in this thing, which I love. And the reason I like it is because um, it keeps all the brushes separated and it keeps the brushes, um, the bristles from touching anything. So your brushes never become misshapen and it protects them really well and it's easy to clean. So I really like this. Um, and then I also keep my water container which I can't seem to get clean for the life of me. If anyone has one like this and you know how to clean it, please tell me because I put it in the dishwasher. I've tried everything and it just looks like a nasty mess. But anyways, that's my water container and I like it because it has holes for brushes. It has three different wells. So you can rinse off black brushes in one and white in another and then color in the big one. And on the big one, it has these little lines. I don't know if you could see that, but it really works great for rubbing your brush across and getting all that extra paint off of. So other than the fact that it's hard to clean, I really like this. I keep my water in uh, just water bottles, obviously that I never drink out of. Um, they're looking pretty beat up, but that's where I keep my water. So when I get to a party, I just dump this right in there. If I go to an event, I bring it in a gallon container so that I have more water if I'm at a big event. Then I have a dirty Ziploc and a clean one. I'm actually washing most of my sponges right now, which is why this is so empty. But all of my clean sponges go in the clean. And then after I'm done with the party or event, I put all of my dirty sponges and my dirty, um, my dirty wet wipes in the dirty bag to be washed when I get home. And of course, I have the wet wipes. And uh, this is a spray hand sanitizer. And my spray bottle of water. And a mirror. Um, I have some alcohol in here. I keep it in a different colored container so I don't accidentally grab um, alcohol instead of water. And this is just if I ever feel the need to sanitize anything on site. And it's also for um, glitter tattoos. You just spray on the alcohol and then rub. And then last but not least, this is kind of um, a bunch of stuff that I usually don't take out um, for normal events, but I have it just in case. And in here I have fake blood and I have um, a white, black, and red star blend. I used to take these out for every party and event that I did. I don't really use them much anymore, but I still like to have them around just in case. And I also have like my um, glitter gels and, um, and things like that. And then a spare glitter as well. So this is just kind of stuff that I don't usually use, but I like to have it on hand. Then in the side pockets, um, I keep inspiration in this one. Um, I used to use these a lot more when I was beginning, but I like to have them around still just in case I ever need inspiration. They're just different books. Um, these are the ones by Mama Clown and 
I really like those. And then I have printouts of different things I found online that I like, and I'll take them out every once in a while and look at them and just to help me think of new designs and be creative. And in this pocket, I have just my business cards, that's it in this one. You just rip these little things off and they hold a bunch of business cards. It keeps them all nice and safe and clean. So that's it, now I'm gonna show you um, how I set it up when I get to the party. Um, I'm gonna show you how I set up on a couch. Obviously I would do it on a table normally, but this is the easiest place for the camera. And um, I always sit up to the right of me because I'm right-handed and it's easier not to have to stretch across. So I set up um, to the right of myself and have the child sit so that their left side is facing the table. Um, so although everything isn't in its own little special compartment in my bag, I like that it's all in one place because I can pull it out easily and set up between one and two minutes. So it's really quick. So what I do is I take my paints out first put them on the table and then I open up the lids just like that and I keep um, my split cakes and my black and white together and then all the other colors together and I get put the split cake one closest to me because I use it the most um, then I set everything else in, in these things so that nothing is touching the client's table or your table um, depending on if you bring your own or not I put my water on this side that I can reach the most easily and then I take some wet wipes and I put two wet wipes right beside the water like that and then I put the rest of the wet, uh, wet wipes over on that side Then I take some sponges and I usually take out about five um, or maybe six and put them beside the wet wipes and I also put my little spray bottle there as well. I take my bottle of water and fill it up, all three wells. And then I leave the other bottle of water full so that if I need to change water in the middle, I can. And I take my little thing of glitter, I put the lid down, put it right there inside there. And the last thing to do are the brushes. So what I do is I just grab all the handles at once and pull them all out at one time. It's pretty quick. And then I put, try to organize them a little bit. I put all the square ones. Um, here, I'll move this so you guys can see. I put all the square ones together. And then all of my round brushes like that. And I keep all of my thinner brushes separate. And I put those um, just in the back in these little holes. The reason why I don't put all the brushes in the holes is because if you have brushes sticking out everywhere, it gets hard to get to your water. And um, I don't know, I just like having the skinny ones up here. So that's how I do it. And there's my basic setup. It's not too much. It um, doesn't take up hardly any space at all. So you don't need a big table. That's what I like about it. I like that nothing is touching the table except for the cases. You kind of keep it all contained in the area. That's it. That's my setup. It's pretty simple. It is not fancy. Uh, but I hope it was able to help some of you out. So thanks everybody. Bye.